The next topic and the last topic for this particular first module is edge zones. So into the edge zone, what, what are edge zones and how they are different from the local zones? So edge zone or edge location okay, is the nearest point to the requester of the AWS service. So into local zone, what we are doing, we are actually deploying our infrastructure. Into the edge location, we do not deploy. Okay, we just cache the copy. Suppose we have one S3 bucket. Now understand this as of now, S3 bucket is nothing but a container to store the videos. Okay. So if we want to store these videos inside of these containers, uh, then we can store it. It, it can support any kind of, uh, you know, format. There you can store videos, images, text files, documents, whatever you want to store, you can store it in S3. So if this S3 is created into North America region or say South America region, okay, and I'm having one customer, uh, means global customers are there. Okay, so because of global customers, one of the customer is into some Asia region. Okay, so if you are not using the edge location, then what will happen? This customer request for this particular video, then the request will travel all the way to South America. It will fetch the video. It will go back all the way to Asia. So this will increase the round trip time, right? The network latency would be increasing, obviously. So instead of that, what we can do is we can cache because this is a static data. Videos are generally the static data, right? Even we can cache the dynamic data. We'll be talking more about that in module number 12, where we'll be discussing about the edge services. But let us say that because this video is a static data, it is not changed frequently. So we can cache the copy of this video into the edge location. Okay, edge location is nothing but the uh, nearest location to the requester and these are present. These are managed by AWS itself and these are present in major cities around the world. So let's say edge location is there in Japan. So we would be caching our data, this video into that edge location of Japan. So now when the customer is requesting for that video, what will happen is the request will go directly to the edge location. It will check whether that video is there or not. If it is there, it will go back with the result to the customer. So understand over here that how drastically the RTT would change the round trip time. The network latency would reduce drastically. So edge locations are basically used for caching the copies of our data. So this is used mostly for CDNs, that is content delivery networks.